So hearing from so many of you sharing your range of emotions about that shooting, uh, processing what happened on New Year's Eve. Our Lacey Beasley catching up with some people in downtown today. And Lacey, uh, people have a lot to say. It's just difficult to wrap your mind around what happened. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. Now I talked to some people born and raised here, and no one wants to see a city they love in mass chaos. Well, tonight, many people's hearts are hurting. No, I wouldn't say Mobile is a horrible place to be. You just have to be cautious wherever you are. Chaos erupting on New Year's Eve and locals are reeling. Some can't believe this happened in their city. I was kind of shocked. Yes, I was. Yes. Especially New Year's Eve. That and the number of people that were shot. I mean, that's just terrible for Mobile. I mean, it's very unusual. Emotions coming to a boiling point. One woman mourning the life lost. Losing life, that's not something you can get back. You know that you lose a key, you can get it remade. But a life, a human being, I don't think they value that in and of itself. Bullets exploded through Urban Emporium Saturday night. Now, windows are boarded up, setting a cold scene. Locals don't know what more could have been done to prevent the tragedy. Whether it's a bad intent or a good intent, if that's something they want to do, if they, they, they have their mind set on harming someone, then they're definitely going to do it. It doesn't matter who's there, what presence is it, they're going to make it happen. And asking themselves, is there anything anyone could have done to put a stop to the violence? What I'm really, truly concerned about is the age of these these kids that are passing away are being killed um, and I don't know what is it that we can do as a community. Well emotions are high and many people are lifting up prayers for the city they love. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.